Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Book Ion. Now you can pick this one up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 1300 bucks for the 15 inch and 1200 bucks for the 13 inch. Now it comes in one color or a silver. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. You got a 15.6 inch full HD QLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 1920. Now there's no touchscreen panel. Now it's powered by the 10th generation Intel Core i7 with eight gigs of DDR4 RAM and 512 gigs of NVMe storage. Now you're getting 21 hours worth of battery life. You got the Intel UHD graphics. It's running Windows 10 Home and the speakers are tuned by AKG. I know, don't say nothing y'all, I know. We're gonna put it to the test. Now as far as the ports, you got an HDMI, two USB 3.0s, a Thunderbolt 3, and a UFS slash SD card slot that supports two gigs for the SD and 512 for the UFS. All right, so this is the 15 inch version, so 1300 bucks. Let's check it out. Now shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. Okay, first up, the presentation. Now this is what I'm talking about. Now if y'all watch my video for the Samsung Galaxy Book Flex, remember the box look kind of beat down? Here's what happened. The Galaxy Book Flex I ordered directly from Samsung and they shipped it just like this. It came in the mail exactly like this, no box on top of it. This one I got from Amazon, it came in another box with bubble wrap. So Samsung, y'all know we family, let me talk to y'all one more time. Samsung, now look, if y'all trying to not send a box to be eco-friendly, then I respect that. But I highly doubt that because everything else that I bought from Samsung comes with a box inside of another box. So Samsung, if y'all just trying to be cheap and save money and ship it just like this, stop it. All right, y'all remember how beat up the box looked? This is how I want to be presented. Y'all remember I said that in the last video? Present me, all right, 1300 bucks, present me like a boss. Nice white box, y'all know I like a nice box. Who doesn't? Giggity. Now on a side note, let me grab my little unboxing knife. I got this little nerd kid trolling me on Instagram every day saying, yo, when are you gonna open up the box with a samurai sword? Well, little nerd kid, this is for you. Don't ever challenge me, all right? I got the zombie killer, samurai sword on deck. Today's my birthday, so let's do it big. Here we go. Let's, let's, get it, let's see if I can do that with one hand, hold up. Rah! All right, little nerd kid, this was for you. All right, here we go. And I didn't even damage the box. Kinda nice. Okay, so let's see what you get. Inside, now this is gonna be your Ion. Now I'm not gonna keep saying Galaxy Book Ion, Galaxy Book Flex. I'm calling it the Flex and the Ion. Y'all know what it is. Now it looks pretty similar. This is gonna be your usual books and shit. Let's uh, pull them out real quick. Pluck them, file them to the side, flick it a wrist. This is gonna be your charging brick. Now this is supposed to be fast charge, and that's pretty much it. Okay, very minimalistic. Now, for the Galaxy Book Ion, like I said last time I'm saying that. Here we go. Woo! Now this is what I'm talking about. One thing that I liked about the Galaxy Flex is this aluminum, magnesium, diamond cut body. Same thing on the Ion. All right, this is not plastic, it's aluminium and magnesium. All right, when they say diamond cut, oh, one thing I gotta tell y'all too, I played it off so hard on the last video. When I was playing around with the side, these are so sharp, I literally thought I cut my finger. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the Galaxy Book Flex. The sides of this, the diamond cut is so sharp. I was doing something in the video, but I tried to play it off cool, and I went like this, I thought I sliced my finger. And I was like, I hope, I hope I don't see blood sl slipping out in the video. I'm gonna look so silly, but it didn't. And it wasn't cut, it just feels that sharp. All right, so if you like these diamond cut edges, you're gonna love this one. Okay, so this is the Aura Silver color. Let's open this up. There it is. Now this one is super lightweight. It's actually a lot lighter, way lighter than the Galaxy Flex, way lighter. Let's see, on the bottom, you got your vents. You got four rubber stoppers, that's gonna keep it in place. This is your UFS slash uh, SD card slot. This is your two USB 3.0s, 
There's one speaker grill, another speaker grill. You got HDMI. I love this now. So if you're taking this to your hotels and you're getting ready to get your activities on, HDMI right to the TV. You got a headphone jack, Thunderbolt 3, and your power adapter. Now on a side note, let me just clear up a few things. A lot of people were saying, oh, the speakers sound trash on the Galaxy Flex because they're on the bottom. Bro, <laughs> I understand y'all wanna look for excuses. These are not the speakers, all right? Those are not the speakers. The speakers are on the sides. All right, same thing. They're not gonna put the speakers underneath the laptop. I mean, I know y'all wanna reach, but let's, 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 let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's try the one hand test. Okay, one hand test with no problems. Now I gotta clear up something else too. Now remember I said you can't really open this with one hand, Galaxy Flex. You actually can if you on a hard table, but it's even it's still it's still not easy. You see how easy I just did that one? If you're on a hard surface, you can actually do that. You can actually get it with one hand, but you, you shouldn't have to struggle like that. You shouldn't have to do all of that. This one, bang. And look at that. No liftage off the table. I had no liftage. You know, sometimes you lift up, <laughs> you open up the screen and the whole laptop be like this, no liftage. Now look, let me say this. When it comes to me doing my product reviews, I don't hold no animosity toward companies. My theory is, you're only as good as your last product. So even though I really didn't like the Flex, I'm not gonna say all Samsung products are trash. I'm going into this with a complete open mind and already I'm a little bit more impressed. A little bit more impressed. Now. Let me do the smell test on this one real quick too. Hold up. Mm! Yes. <laughs> this one is official tissue right here. All right. Now, this is the color that I'm talking about. I like this. If you're sitting up in a fancy meeting, you could pull this one out with pride as opposed to pulling out this blue one, which some people like, I happen to like, and some people don't. Read the comments for yourself. A lot of people was like, no, it looks like a toy. I wouldn't pull this out. Nevertheless, I digress. Let me pause the video, drop all my information in, set everything up, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, now, just as I'm about to put my information into this laptop, guess who strolls into work? Late, but still great. Ladies and gentlemen, White Shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white, white shoes. shoes. Calm down. Now, I'm going to give you a break since it's my birthday. I'm not going to dock you any pay, but you need to get your act together. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I've been using this for a couple of hours, doing some of my business work, so I'm ready to give y'all my opinions. Now, as usual, I'm going to start off with everything that I don't like, and then we'll talk about everything that I do like, and I promise y'all I'm going to make this quick. First up, the price. 1300 bucks. Y'all know I'm getting ready to say it, so let's all say it together. The price is too goddamn high. All right, Samsung and white shoes, I need both of y'all to calm down. All right, now look, for everything else that I don't like and what you're paying for, I think this should have been a thousand bucks. All right, I would have been comfortable paying a thousand bucks, but for 1300 bucks, there's just way too many other options on the market that have some of the features that I'm getting ready to complain about. All right, so the price, not really feeling that. But y'all know the old saying, you gotta pay to play, so let's play. Next up, no touchscreen. Now, a lot of people ask me, why do I like Windows computers better than MacBooks? Touchscreen displays. All of my little laptops that I carry around when I'm doing my little work at Starbucks and all that, they gotta have touchscreen. This one doesn't have touchscreen. That's part of a Windows laptop staple to me, unless I'm buying a gaming laptop. But these little laptops like this, the thin light ones, like the MateBooks, they gotta have touchscreen. Right? That's why I use my MateBook so much. I love having a touchscreen laptop. No touchscreen on this one. Next, no face unlock. And when I say no face unlock, I don't mean the face unlock that's on your phone. I mean no Windows Hello. Now look, I know what some of y'all gonna say. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. Oh, uh, just go set up Windows Hello. We'll talk about that in a second. No face unlock, no Windows Hello. For the face, that is. And the last thing, I, this is the last thing that I don't like about this, and it was my major gripe with the Galaxy Book Flex. It's the same gripe with this one. The speakers on this laptop, they just don't cut it. All right, these little side-facing speakers, I'm not gonna say they're trash. All right, matter of fact, I will say that. They are kind of trash. All right, the, these speakers are just trash for 1,300 bucks. Now look, I'm not gonna go through that whole sound test like I did last time. Just watch my Galaxy uh, Book Flex video. 
I'll do a little sound test right now between this and the Galaxy Book Flex, and you'll see for yourself. Now, if this sounds exactly like the Flex, then you can use your imagination and put this one against everything else that I tested. The speakers on this, they just aren't that good. All right? They're just trash. Listen, to, let's just keep it a buck. They're trash. Now, look, right now I'm sitting down here in complete silence. So the speakers might sound okay. They sound okay. They sound okay. But when I go upstairs and I'm watching TV, a lot of times I like to watch the news and I watch YouTube videos at the same time. Now, I'm not going to have on headphones while I'm watching. I want to watch the TV and use my laptop at the same time. So you need some kind of quality sound. So when I'm using my MacBook or I'm using an iPad or I'm using a Galaxy Tab, I can clearly hear what I'm using on this device and I can still clearly hear the TV. With this one and the uh, Galaxy Book Flex, the TV sound drowns out this so much I mean, and I can show y'all some certain uh, YouTube videos on this with just people talking. I hate having the strain to listen. I mean, the speakers are just garbage. Samsung, I don't know why y'all put AKG on these. You know what I'm saying? Why I don't know why y'all did that. Don't y'all own? Don't y'all own Har Harman also? Like, what's going on, man? They, they should. They, I don't understand that. I really don't. Anyway, so those are my gripes. All right, the speakers, no touchscreen, no Windows Hello, and the price is TGH. Other than that. I am definitely feeling this now. Let's talk about everything that I do like, and I am gonna keep it. I am gonna keep it because number one, the build quality. This just feels super lightweight. It has this brushed aluminium. I right, shout out to the UK. Brushed aluminium with the magnesium diamond cut finish. I love it. Look at the little hits of blue. Now, if you notice, the back has that little blue piece. Let me show you something. Look at the fingerprint sensor, a little hit of blue on that. That's a nice little touch. And look at the power cable. Got a little blue light. All right, you see the little blue light in the cable? This is just nice little stuff. All right, so Samsung, build quality, y'all got it on point. All right, shoes, um, I need you to take your chew toy out of there because it's killing my OCD. So Samsung has the build quality on lock. All right, y'all got it on lock in that department. Y'all just got to step your game up with the speakers and the features. Now, one thing that I noticed that y'all heard me complain about with the Flex that I'm not complaining about this one is the hiccups and the bugs. Now, I suspect that a lot of those hiccup and, uh, hiccups and bugs on the Flex is due to switching from laptop to tablet mode, not to mention with the S Pen. All of that stuff is going to be software updates, but y'all remember my gripe. If I spent 1400 bucks for the Flex, I want it to work out of the box. I don't want to wait for updates. All right, shoes, scoot, scoot. All right, scoot, scoot. This one right here, though, no, no hiccups out of the box. All right, so I'm feeling that. Build quality, A1. Next. One hand opening, no liftage off the table. I'm feeling that also. All right. Now, let's open this up real quick. Look at that boot up. <laughs> y'all seen that? I want to show y'all something. Watch this, yeah. All right, so let's go to, um, let's go to shutdown. All right, so we'll completely shut this down. I'm back here sweating bullets. That's another thing I wanted to mention real quick, why this is shutting down. When I did the Galaxy Flex and I did the smell test, I came back. A lot of people seen some droplets on, on the outside of the, t on the laptop. And y'all was like, oh, you got boogers coming out of your nose. Oh, you spit on the laptop. No, let me explain something to y'all. I'm sitting down here with the windows closed and the air conditioner off and the fan off. Now, I can't put the air conditioner on because it's, it's super loud. Y'all can hear it in my mic. I can't put the fan on because shoes are going to go crazy. And I can't open the window because every time I do, I start getting a whole bunch of bugs because I'm down here in my basement. So I'm, here, I'm sitting here in complete heat. This is the amount of sweat that's dripping from my forehead. So sometimes if y'all see me do a smell test and it comes back with some liquid, that's sweat. I right, just not spit. It's not uh <laughs> it's not boogers. Nevertheless, I digress. Watch the boot up speed on this one. Alright, so let's hit that power. Oh, matter of fact, you don't even have to hit the power button. Alright, there it is. Now get, get your timers out at home. That's still less than 10 seconds. Fingerprint. That's less than 10 seconds. From completely off to completely ready to rock out. Now let me show you something real quick. Let's take it over to uh settings. Let's go to, let's go to hello, sign in options. Now look, you see it does have an option for Windows Hello Face. When you click on it though, we couldn't find a camera compatible with Windows Hello. All right, this option is currently unavailable. Now it's the same thing with the Galaxy Book Flex, because a lot of people are saying, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, it has Windows Hello. Try to set up Windows Hello on your Galaxy Book Flex and you're gonna get the same error message or the same, uh, 
a not compatible message. Now, could that be an update? Maybe, maybe not. It does have a front facing camera, but it's not compatible with Windows Hello. Let's keep it pushing. Next up, the trackpad. Oh, this trackpad is so luxurious. All right, it, it has a nice feel to it. The travel on it is excellent. All right, it's very clicky for right and left. All right, very clicky. I don't know if y'all, that's a word or not. And let me show you the best part about the trackpad. You hit function, F11, turn on wireless power share. If you got a nice phone, flip it open, drop it down, and check this out. Bung! Yo, now, <laughs> this is part of the reason why I'm keeping this one and I'm keeping the Galaxy Flex. This is so sick, all right? When I'm sitting around at Starbucks, all right, and I'm drinking my Frappuccinos like I do, all right, and I'm wearing my clogs, <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm wearing some clogs with no socks, I'm gonna have my phone charging up like this while I'm watching a YouTube video. Now, the downside to this is you can't use the trackpad while you're using wireless power share. But once you finish power sharing, Fold your phone up, function F11, turn off power share, and you're back on your laptop. Now, I know what y'all saying. Oh, man, he got that flip. I want to see that again. Why not? All right, that's the Galaxy Flip. For all y'all cheese dicks that was home saying, oh, you're going to break it. You're flipping it too hard. Bro, I'm a professional flipologist. All right, I'm a flipologist. I study in flipology. All right, I've been flipping these phones for years. Bang. You don't spend a thousand bucks on a flip phone to pull it out and go like this. Oh, let me check my messages. Hold on a second, guys. You don't do that. Now, you pull your phone out at McDonald's, you online, waiting for that number three. Bang. You hit it up like that. When you finish, just like that. Still looking brand new. Still looking crispy. Let's keep it moving. Next up. Now, I know I'm, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Part of the reason that I love about these Samsung, uh, well, I would say one of the things that I love about these Samsung laptops the display, the, Q the QLED displays, they're unbelievable. All right, they're magnanimous. They're tremendous. I know. Let's all, let's go to YouTube real quick. So y'all can see this display and also so you can listen to the speakers. Now the battery life on this is rated at 22 hours. Of course I didn't test that yet, but I have no reason to think otherwise because I've been using the Galaxy Flex and that one was rated at 19 hours. And I've been getting about 10, 12 hours, not using straight on max brightness, going crazy, but just a whole day, just a whole day's worth of use with no problem. So if you use your laptop on and off during the day, you're not going to have to charge this one up. All right, you're not going to have to walk around with the cable if you're rocking this out on a night on the channel. Let's take it over to <laughs> a night on the channel with your laptop. That's nerd shit, but hey, that's how that's how we be rolling, yo. All right, let me see. Um, Let's go to, let's pull up. Lossy Sony, all right, Sony. Let's pull up my favorite chess video. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy. Floss. All right, now let's skip to the Back part with some good bass. And today we're gonna be. Here we go. Let's walk around and check out this beautiful city before it gets All right, watch dark. this. Look at this display. Look at that. QLED. All right, matter of fact, let's make sure. Let's make sure, cause I was about to say, yeah, I know, I know, I, I know, I ain't crazy. I was about to say, that I don't look like 1080 to me. Hold up, that's more like it. Check this out. I can watch a movie all day on this. It's just these speakers are killing me. Now look, speaking of speakers, <laughs> hold up, speaking of speakers. Let me grab the Galaxy Flex. This way I'll do a little side-by-side -side sound comparison. And then, like I said, you watch that video and be the judge for yourself. All right, so we'll start with the Galaxy Book Flex. Max volume. Here's the Ion Max volume. Here's the flex. Here's the ion. Fourteen hundred bucks. Thirteen hundred bucks.
You get where I'm going with this. Now, like I said, I don't have to do the full comparison. If these two sound exactly the same, that means the MateBook sounds louder, the MacBook sounds louder, the Galaxy Tab sounds louder, even the Galaxy Fold phone sounds louder than both of these. So if you're buying a laptop specifically for media, say you wanna edit your videos or you just wanna watch videos and movies all day long, and you're looking for loud quality sound, you're not gonna find it on either one of these laptops. Now look, if you want to add a Bluetooth speaker, y'all see when I added the two tri bits, you can do that and it's gonna sound crazy. You can add a big giant JBL speaker, a boom box, it's gonna sound ridiculous. Or you can just plug in some headphones, plug in some Bluetooth earbuds and you'll be fine. But like I said, for me personally, if I wanna sit on my bed and watch YouTube and watch the TV at the same time, the TV drowns out the speakers. I don't like that. All right, now as far as performance, this handled all of my work with no problems. I haven't seen any lag, any hiccups, any bugs. And like I said, I was using Office, Excel, Docs, had all my spreadsheets open. I was doing a little Photoshop editing. No problems at all. So performance on this is a go. Now, as far as the keyboard, oh, I love it. Feels excellent. Let's uh, let's take it over to a website real quick just so y'all can see these uh, browsing speeds. Let's take it over to Instagram. There it is, just like that. The trackpad works flawlessly. Got all your gestures on deck. Now let me show you the backlit keys. All right, so I'm gonna turn the display brightness all the way down so you can see how bright the keyboard gets. Now this is off, you got three levels. So that's 30%, there's 60%, and this is 100%, max brightness. All right, nice and bright, so you can easily type on this in the middle of the night or in complete darkness. All right, so let me try to give you an idea of how bright the display gets. Check this out. Okay, that's max brightness. Now watch this. You got outdoor mode. Look how bright that is. That's outdoor mode off. Outdoor mode on. This is crazy. All right, so one last thing that I wanted to talk about that I do like is you see this tab on the back, that little blue strip? It actually works to lift your keyboard off the table a little bit so when you type in, you got a better typing angle. Check this out. You see when you open it? You lean it backwards. It's hard to see, but it's actually lifting up off the table a little bit. So when you lean it forward, you see it goes down. That's hard to see on video, but take my word for it. It lifts up a little bit, gives you a better typing angle. Let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, the Galaxy Book Ion, this is a go. It's not a major go, it's just a go. I like it, but it's not gonna be for everybody because the price is TGH, there's no touchscreen, no Windows Hello, the speakers are trash, no high refresh rate, no gaming graphics card. It's just a nice basic laptop to do my basic outdoor activities. Now, the reason I like it, this display is immaculate. The build quality is excellent. I love the keyboard, the trackpad. The backlit keys are super bright. Wireless charge, I love that. And one of my favorite features, HDMI. All right, now this is gonna be one of my travel laptops. When I hit the hotel, HDMI for my scumbag activities. You got USB Type-C, headphone jack two USB A's, SD card. I could drop a mouse in here, drop a flash drive. Build quality is excellent. Like I said, this is a go. It's just not a major go, and it's not gonna be for everybody. If you got headphones and speakers on deck, that's gonna solve one of the gripes. But again, there's so many other options at this price range. Do a little bit more research. And next week, now it's supposed to come today, but it's actually gonna come uh, June 19th. I'm doing the Surface Book 3, and I'm also doing the Asus ROG, the Zinfandel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know the name of it, that Zephyrinder shit. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm doing that one too. All right, so don't run out and buy this one yet. I got a few more laptops and Chromebooks coming up in the next couple of weeks. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And shout out to everybody for all the happy birthday wishes. I really appreciate that. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. 
Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize. Right, let's see if we got any juice on this one. No, ow! <laughs> Yo, bro! Uh, you you come into work late, then you want to take over you. All right, if you want if you want to take over, you got to be on time, bro. All right, I don't want to have to call the cat union or report your ass. <laughs>